So, a lot's been happening. Um, we've obviously got all the foundations have been poured, which is great. Got some sand arriving for the first time. So we've got the surveyor here, who is busy pinning um, sort of the foundations where the brickwork's gonna go. I don't know if you can see, down there, you can see that they're spray painting all the little pins. Let's see if we can go and find the guys. It's very tricky, yeah? Yeah, boy, Johnny. So I'm here with Anton, who's the heart of the operation. <laughs> if yet, <you had> Anton, <laughs> do you want to explain to everyone like why and what's going on? We got in the surveyor to put out the outside corners of the whole building so that we can be sure that um, everything is aligned and from the outside corners we can work out the inside corners, we can work out the inside foundations and the inside walls as well but uh, the outside corners give us all the square so that we know that the house is square as it's on, its, on the plans and as it's set out by the architect. From there we can work out now every corner, okay. other corners, the inside corners. Yes. We've just arrived on site and um, these guys are working very quickly. We've got cement, we got sand, but most importantly, we've got bricks for the first time. It's great. So, um, yeah, these guys are busy bricking in the garage. Um, profiles. profiles. We've got we onset profiles, mm -hmm. onset alles here. Et ons um pokkels hier, onset alles. Um, so, yeah, here are the bricks. Um, so the retaining walls are actually running that side of the garage. Um, I'll do an overview. So that's kind of where we want to get to. We want to get all the um, retaining walls done. And then we're going to build these walls up to a certain level and pour concrete on top. So this is also the exciting stage of a build when these bricks actually go up quite quickly. Um, building bricks is a lot quicker than people think. Um, that's something I've realized. And what's very interesting is bricks and cement is actually one of the cheaper elements. It still costs a lot, but relative to your house being built, bricks and cement, not a substantial cost really, if you look in the overall uh, price of the whole home. So um, it's great to see these guys going quite quickly now. Okay, so, wow, um, we've just arrived and lots of brickwork happening. Sure, you know, it's a one day and these guys are doing a great job um, building the walls there. The revelation today, as we've been talking to our builder, is actually understanding how um, high everything's going to be here. It's actually crazy how high. I mean, to give you an example, where I'm standing now, hard to see, that's actually our floor level. That's the garden is from where I'm standing. It's going to go right out to those trees. The tip of those trees, that's all you're going to be seeing eventually. So the pool will be pretty much on this level. All of this will be filled up. So. Um, it's actually very, until you actually see it, you don't realize how high everything is. So yeah, exciting um, that we're gonna have excellent views. I mean, you know, this is it's gonna be our castle. I think we're changing the name to the, the castle book. But anyway, so yeah, all exciting. Um, but I think, shame, kids need to go. We need to go home, don't we? Okay, well, we've just, um, so part of being real about this whole house building thing, um, if you look behind me, you'll see there's a lot of walls, we'll, I'll take you through. But um, something to bear in mind is that last night I had a wobbly. What I mean by that is I didn't sleep very well. <laughs> and I'm only mentioning this not for sympathy, it's just hopefully a relatable process. If you're going to build one day, you're going to see. Everyone talks about the stresses of it and this is an easy stage, it's foundation stage, right? But we're putting in our portion first, which is quite a small, well actually it's a decent percentage with the land. It's it's. We've only borrowed about 60%, just under 60% of the whole build, which is great. Um, we're very happy, but we have to put in our section, our bit of money first, which is what we have done and doing and are almost finished or that money is almost finished, right? So, which puts a lot of pressure on us. So it's just working out these things and then trying to fix our business on top of the build and vlogging this. It's great combination, but I want to give you some context what's been happening over the last few days because um, it has a lot's happened and I need to actually explain. So um, follow me. What you're seeing behind us is all of our foundation walls and when we look at the plans on a 3D model or you look at the plans and you see how your land like when you see how your uh, land slopes down you understand that it does because when you came to see the land in the previous video you'll see that you can see it slopes down and slopes down but it's only until you start digging 
things out and getting your floor levels that you actually realize the true gradients of what we're dealing with. And in our case, even our builders been surprised. Um, we have used up, um, to get to all of this level, we've used up about, I'd say about 14,000 bricks, maybe even 15,000 bricks. Um, we've got double cavity walls, which means those double cavity walls have to be filled with, with um, cement and concrete all along the foundation. So that's an extra expense. So I think we have overrun slightly already on the foundational walls, but once we're at this sort of, let's call it floor level, um, it should go smoother. Um, and then of course, we're gonna get into the finishes and windows and the bigger expenses. But for now, I think this has taken us a bit by surprise, but we're not wildly out of budget. Um, I think we're gonna be able, just under our initial uh, money that we have to put in. So um, let's carry on and I'll just show you a little bit more about considerations at this stage of building. Okay, so what you're looking at in this section is actually our garden. Uh, very hard to visualize, I know. Um, and there, towards the trees, is actually the pool. So you can imagine it's going to be all level with the pool. With those views in the background, it's going to be freaking spectacular. So one thing we're very happy about is actually how high we're going to be. And that's part of the surprise of building so high. I mean, this level is not a floor level, by the way. We're still going up at least, let me, if, if I show you against this wall, um, the garden will be about here. The swimming pool, yeah, the swimming pool will be about there. Yeah, exactly. So you can see how much more we still have to go up. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. But as I say, from being in the kitchen to looking out onto the garden with the open plan stack of doors, it is going to be exceptionally beautiful. Um, and that's one thing that took us by surprise is how well the designs worked so far on the land. Yes, we're paying a bit more for this these elements, but it, it'll pay off. Um, another thing, let me just grab the camera, is the office. My office, um, we've gone a lot bigger in that. It turns out that's a 33 square meter room underneath there, which is great, I guess. It's always good having extra room. So it doesn't cost that much extra because we are basically gonna pour slab over this and we would have had to fill that space anyway. Uh, lots of action happening on site at the moment. So these guys are actually like moving incredibly fast. This is all floor level. Okay, this is my office. So this is going to be down. Everything else is going to be up there. So with that guy standing over there, that's going to be our garden level. This is going all the way up. So what's happening now is that we're hoping to pour our slabs for this foundation floor level. Um, so the guy at the moment is busy compacting there in the garage. They're busy compacting um, the soil and then they're going to pull the slabs over it. So we've got our electrician coming and he's going to put in all these pipe work and we've got the plumber coming for our spare room just to start getting sort of starter pipes going for those sort of things. So um, obviously when he's on site, I'm going to ask him a bit more, especially the electrician, I'm going to understand a little bit more about how they channel the pipes, you know, how they do things basically. Yeah, so it's going really, really quickly, which is great. Um, obviously, from our side, personally, it feels still overwhelming because it's going so quickly that like all of our money is coming out of our accounts way quicker than we imagined. And that's just relative to how quick they're building, right? Um, but yeah, we're definitely running <coughs> low on, on personal funds, um, which is it's always a bit scary um, because, you know, as we work on our business and we try and grow this YouTube channel, it all takes time. Nothing, nothing happens quickly you know um, everything takes time so it's all a risk for us building this house is a risk for us but we're going to carry on anyway um, I want to show you while I'm here I want to show you the swimming pool um, this will give you an idea how high this garden is going to be you know if you look if you look where I am and you look at this ground it doesn't look high as soon as you go yeah you realize how steep this all is now there is our pool let me take you in and show you how high the pool is actually going to be. Stepping into that pool. Um, now, what I mean by stepping into the pool, where I'm standing now, we've got this cavity of a room. This <laughs> is not the bottom of the pool. The bottom of the pool, and talking about the bottom, where we'll be standing at the bottom of our pool, is about, yeah, where my hand is. Okay, so we've got all of this room underneath, which will essentially be the place where the pool pump could store all my sort of gardening tools on here which is actually great it's like a bonus room but it just shows you how high it's going to be the top of the pool 
I mean, I know you, you can't get a sense of scale, but um, top of the pool is where those bars are, basically. Uh, my head is actually like, the water level's here at the moment, pretty much. Um, and if I go up, you'll see. So essentially, as I say, you know, this whole pool area, the garden, it's all gonna be one massive, long, flat section. Okay, so garage <clears throat> into the spare room, all being compacted, getting ready to pull those foundations. Um, garden, all has to be filled right up. Office, guys are taking all of the urban pool out. Um, yeah, a lot of work going on, a lot of work. We managed to get this far, what you're seeing on your screen. Can't wait to show you guys the next level as I explain what the black lining is and we'll get into the electrician and the plumbing work, but subscribe and thanks for following.